Hey guys, Michael and Damien from Stempunks. We're gonna give you a product review of a software called Tinkercad. Yeah, so why this is really good for a classroom is because once you've got your uh, PC or your tablet, you can easily log on and actually start using and creating nice little shapes. Um, and I've seen students from year two right up until uh, secondary school using this program and just pick and choose your adventure on how hard you want to go on it. Mm. And Tinkercad is from a company called Autodesk and they've been doing what's called CADs, a computer aided design for a very long time. Now Tinkercad is deliberately made for kids, mm -hmm. right? so we can start off with very complicated concepts like CAD but making it easy to understand. So you might start off with some very simple geometric shapes like a cylinder or a cube for example, put them all together and now it comes a 3D and, object. Blue and blue on my yeah. t-shirt though. So as you can see, yeah, students have just put on nice little prisms on that one and then we've just added them on and then we've yep. we printed it out. Yeah, print out. That's, another, that's another story, we'll get onto that another time. That's right. However, this does, it's an awesome unit for doing cross-curriculum activities if you go into your mathematics. So, you, although you can do it as a STEM program, you could easily shift it onto your maths. Yes, and there's a lot you can do with this too, because some schools might have 3D printers, like we've got one over here. If you don't, it's still a really good exercise to learn how to design in 3D space. So how do you put objects together to create really complicated objects too? Mm -hmm. So what's that? So yes, here's a great example. So we ran a five week program where a grade five class designed their own drones. So this drone here is completely designed from scratch. Here's some examples of the earlier models. They designed this and 3D printed these. Here's another one right over here. So it's a great way for the students to learn about things like aerodynamics, the physics of flight, and quite a cheap way of doing it too because one of these costs about 10 cents to print. So if you do have a 3D printer, it's a great way of using it. But in the end, the students have a flying drone. They can fly around in the classroom. And it's a fun, interactive way to learn about maths, science, and of course, how 3D design and 3D printing works. Perfect. So I think that's it. So yeah. come back and check out our other programs in 3D design and 3D printing, and we'll see you again soon.